tous et à toutes et bienvenue sur Narlexin Game, on se retrouve pour du Thronebreaker et nous continuons cette histoire des plus magnifiques. These lands, they look familiar to you? Naturally, your grace. They're the venerable Count Caldwells. Forcément. War, death, chaos, everywhere but here. This land's positive. Et très champêtre. Ouais, je sais, je sais. Bon, nous allons monter, je crois que c'est une église. Nous allons éviter de voler les ressources de l'église quand même. Même si je pourrais le faire, mais je... je, je... Oh, ah, ah, à moins que... The traitorous Caldwell family's residence loomed into view. Against the horizon, it looked suitably sinister. Yet the manor had changed since Meave last saw it. Two new wings, ornate towers, a grand colonnade. And the windows now glistened with stained glass the gilded hue of imperial suns. We must pay them a visit, seethed the queen. Uh. The great double doors opened with an echoing thud. Just inside them stood the heir to the estate, Dragomir, his wife and three children by his side, and Helena, the treacherous count's widow. Sl Your grace, my okay. father's betrayal stands beyond doubt and exoneration. The young Caldwell said flawlessly and in a single breath as if he'd practiced a dozen times. And his death at your hands was most well deserved. I ask that ye not punish sons for the sins of their fathers. Mm. I ask humbly, with bowed head, allow me to stay on my ancestral lands, to serve faithfully as your loyal subject. I believe not a word slithering out of his mouth, whispered Reynard. The first chance he gets to stab you in the back. He will take. Ouais, mais non. Meave narrowed her eyes and gazed at Dragomir. Large drops of sweat dripped from his brow. You may stay, said the queen, finally breaking the silence. On two conditions. Firstly, you will make a considerable donation toward the war effort. Then field an infantry regiment, fully outfitted, under my command. Naturally, your grace. And the other? In one swift motion, Meave snatched a crossbow from a soldier, put it to her cheek, and loosed. Caldwell the Younger screamed bloody murder as he threw up his arms to shield his face. The bolt hissed by and struck the center of a golden sun, shattering one of the stained glass windows. Redecorate, said the Queen flatly. I shall replace the glazing in the windows to bear Rivian diamonds. A glazier... Voilà, c'est une bonne chose, mon gars. T'as bien fait. Bon, par contre, ils sont pas très contents, hein. Hmm. Oh, j'aurais pu les bannir. Après tout. Oh, on verra. On verra ce que ça va faire plus tard. Bon, si par contre un sanctuaire me ferait du bien. Alors, je me retrouve à un croisement. Je regarde la carte. En haut pour aller là, là-bas. Et on va par là. Bah, je vais commencer en haut du coup. Ah, mais c'est beau ça! C'est ce que je voulais. Allez, parti pour un petit combat encore. Une bataille standard. <sighs> Pas mal, c'est bon. Hmm, mes catapultes. Alors. Waiting for a personal invitation. We must trust each other. Putain, je me retrouve toujours avec cette carte, c'est dingue. Voilà, on s'est mis en place. Life is mine now. 
pour la première manche. Enfin, pour la prochaine manche. Alors, on va continuer. C'est dommage. Bon, c'est pas grave. Une deuxième. Le salaud. Armies waste the time for one like me. Vas-y, attaque-moi. Oh putain, le salaud. Il passe. Bon bah, je passe aussi, hein. Dommage que je puisse pas enlever des gardes. Allez. Ah, c'est pas une raison pourquoi. Quiet, ou le commissaire est là. Je le sentais bien celui-là. Catch! Cette carte est là. On va jouer gros. Death is only the beginning. On Hendor. That's the day. The day. Don't need no weapon. Voilà. Allez, ça, ça va leur faire mal. Et tant mieux. Wise choice. Alors ensuite. Left, right, left. Right. Que je vais jouer. Euh... Mais je de... Non, ou pas, pas tout de suite. Cette carte. Au moins, c'est fait. Déjà ça. Allez, qui me le tue, ça m'arrange. Je vais jouer le nain. Et dans deux tours, je vais pouvoir faire. Off to the front yet again. Qui fait 10, donc je vais pouvoir le jouer, donc ça c'est pas mal. Ça. 
Hmm, il en avait encore une dans le stock. Alors, je vais retirer laquelle... Ouais, je vais retirer une carte qui me... Je vais retirer ça. Je fous un peu. Alors, je vais jouer celle-là. Et, 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 et... Deux grosses cartes. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Her Majesty is exceptional. Never had your kneecaps broken. Ouais, là, ça fait, euh, c'est pas mal. En gros, il n'y a plus de cartes en face, quoi. Peut-être détruire mes cartes. Euh... Mmh, c'est tout ce que je pouvais faire. Allez, passer. Bon, de toute façon, c'est pas avec une carte qui va gagner. Hein. Hmm, victoire. Encore. Quelle simplicité. Alors. Bon, je vais regarder la carte parce qu'il y a quand même pas mal de chemin. Euh... Parce que j'ai pas fait ça. Au pire, je vais aller. Ah oui, de toute façon, le chemin. Ouais, au pire, je peux aller monter euh, directement sur l'autre forteresse. Et voir ce que ça donne là-haut. Ah. Il y a des ressources. Ouh, il y a des gens fouettés là-bas. J'aime pas du tout. C'est pas bien de fouetter les gens. Allez. Let me tell you of Ravencloft, a quarry Meave passed by. A quarry with a dark history. For years earlier, its wall had collapsed, burying dozens alive. Scholars summoned from Oxenfurt were unanimous in their findings. The rock was fragile, further digging would likely cause slides. Meave had heeded the scholars' advice and closed the quarry by royal decree. Yet now, as she neared it, Meave could hear the even tap of pickaxes. She dispatched scouts to investigate. They returned promptly, their faces sullen, their cloaks blanched with a fine limestone dust. Quarries open and you, your grace. Nilf guardians. They've got folk in the pit working it. Appear to be from the surrounding villages. Interesting. Their engineers have found a way to render it safe. Secure the walls. I'd say that's right unlikely, Majesty. Judging oh. by the fresh graves we saw. The Queen then turned to Reynard, as ever at her side. Reynard, what do you advise? As a soldier, my Queen, I'd advise against any kind of assault. The terrain's hard, unsuitable for a fight, and we've little to gain from a victory. As a man, however... Yes? ...to leave our folk in chains, in that death trap. Wouldn't be right. De toute façon, j'attaque. Ça, c'est sûr. Je vais attaquer. Ne pas attaquer, mais il va tenter. Allez, je vais tenter de les libérer la carrière quand même. Je vais pas les laisser faire. 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 Alors, bataille courte et éliminer tous les esclavagistes. C'est facultatif, mais... Euh... Mais je vais le faire quand même. 
Alors. Ouais, ça peut le faire. Those horses forcing my own subjects to fight us. Wise choice. Première chose, je brûle tout. Carny vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. My favorite cut of lamb, the shank. C'est pas cool. Ah, c'est pas ça, je vais brûler le deuxième. Bah, you. Ah, il est là. Hop, et, 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 et. Euh... Qu'est-ce que je vais prendre C'est de là. Catch! Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Oh, il n'y a pas photo, je leur fais bobo. Life is mine now. Your Grace, if we begin killing the overseers, the laborers will turn against them. Allez, tout de suite. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. The overseers are dead, Your Grace. Eh ben voilà. Franchement, ouais, c'est. Mais tu. The Lyrians handily dispatched the Nilfgaardian overseers, more trained in the ways of the whip than the sword. Those who survived now found themselves shackled in the very chains they'd forced the peasants to wear. Peasants. Oh, unfortunate souls. The cruel labor in the quarry had taken its toll. They stood before the queen, shrunken to skin and bone, clothed in tattered rags, their eyes reddened by dust, But in those eyes burned a brilliant fire. Hmm, Musolia. Hey Grace, them black clads treated us like dogs. Stripped us of dignity. So we beg you, give us arms. No, Let us march neath your banner. Tis a chance at revenge we seek, we want. Reynard leaned towards me and spoke in a scarcely audible whisper. Majesty, they've knelt. Not boots, not even foot wraps. To equip the lot, train them, would cost a small fortune. Ah, pas grave. 1600, et qu'est-ce que c'est Je suis riche Tis true. They've knelt to their names, said the Queen. Have few skills to offer and little strength. But to look in their eyes is to know they'll never flee, never throw down their arms. Such recruits are worth coin in any amount. Emaciated, downtrodden. The peasants met the queen's offer with gratitude. They relished the thought of facing their tormentors in a fight. Magnifique. Donc j'ai de nouvelles troupes, il me semble. Oh, mais c'est pas mal. Bon, du coup, on va retourner vers le sud. Euh, ressources qui se cachent en haut. Dites donc. Une autre porte. Allez, hein. Meave now reached Willowhane, a settlement she knew well. For it lay near Waldenrad, where in peacetime she would go to escape her queenly duties and enjoy the thrill of a hunt. Pheasant, grouse, and partridge in abundance. You will see, said Meave in muted excitement, pivoting in her saddle to face Gascon. Alas, it appeared the war had ravaged even these woods. Where life had stirred and grown tall before, only resinous trunks remained. 
and the village itself had lost its quaint allure, surrounded now by a double stockade, a golden sun fluttering above it. Bastards couldn't even let the damn trees be. Gascon seethed. A dismal scene. Her once cherished wood, and it weighed heavily on the Queen's spirits. Waldenrad had been a place removed, where she could rest and forget the weight of her crown. Reynard's voice roused me from her sad reverie. An elf guardian garrison holds the village, he said. Oh, we yes, ought to you. drive them out. Avoid any surprise later from the rear. Give the order to attack, but none is to play the hero. We shall breach or topple the stockade together. Senseless to perish so close to home. Reynard nodded. Moments later, the Lyrians rushed forth and attacked. Allez, c'est parti. Bataille courte et encore. Donc on va devoir tout donner pour un seul rune. Alors ça et ça, je m'en fous. Ouais, pourquoi pas. Ça, je m'en fous aussi. Ah, mais c'est quoi ce, ces cartes Alors. Wise choice. This could hurt. Water. That's a poison. Go, hop, hop. Bon, je vais tout de suite le retirer. Alors. Autant brûler. Et puis. Ouais. Watch your heads. <laughs> Bigger they are, easier they are to tell. Alba! Oh, j'aime pas ça. Unité, prête-toi tout au début du tour, changer la force de ces unités à celle de l'unité précédente. Ouais, si ceci je peux le détruire, pourquoi pas. Les salauds. <rire> Life is mine now. Pète les couilles. Again and again and again. Trouvez une gloire. What's that? Il 
Bon, va falloir euh, hâter la, réfra la réflexion. Alors, je vais enlever cette carte. Et du coup, je vais mettre... Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Company, forward march! It's not too late to walk away. Hmm, ça peut être pas mal. On va voir. Ouh, ça, ça fait mal aussi. Ça fait mal aussi. Là il passe. Bon, je suis devant dans tous les cas. Faire hop. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Et voilà. Allez, c'est écrasé. Bon, en tout cas, cet épisode est rempli de bataille. Quand le blast s'est Neve a instruit ses soldats de gagner Willow Haines inhabitants. Upon spotting their armed liberators, the common folk cowered in terror. No longer need you fear, the queen shouted. No longer must you worry about homes and loved ones. The war's nearly done. Of a sudden, a villager dropped to his knees and raised his hands to the heavens in supplication. Trocke! Guide my queen! Meave broke off oddly, baffled by the man's outburst. And then it dawned on her. The Rivians of Willowhain had been driven away. Taking their place, Nilfgaardian settlers brought in to transform the near subsistence plots of local peasants mm. into great estates producing for the Empire. Reynard managed to grasp the essence of the Nilfgaardian peasants' frantic pleas. They wished to stay. They'd come to love the land. They pledged to renounce their emperor, swear allegiance to you as their rightful ruler. They... Meave had stopped listening. She turned to survey the hamlet. The walls of the huts, freshly whitewashed, tools neatly arranged, flower beds well tended. A young girl of six or seven summers peered out from her hiding place in a sunflower patch. Your Majesty? Asked Reynard, having noted that Meave's mind had wandered. What are your orders? What shall we do? They can stay on two conditions. Tell them. For 15 years, they'll pay double the tax. And if any of the previous inhabitants return, they're to be given their huts, lands, and any crops produced in their absence without delay. The Nilfgaardian settlers accepted the terms with relief. Meave soldiers with markedly less enthusiasm. As the force left Willowhain, the troops made a show of knocking aside any food or drink the peasants offered. Ça <sighs> va, ça devrait aller. Ils ont rien à voir. Hein. Ils ont juste suivi un hein, chef con. Voilà, bon, bah écoutez, je pense qu'on va s'arrêter là pour cet épisode. 
faut que je descende un peu plus vers le sud, donc par là, et partir ici. Donc, il y a un gros château à faire et un petit village. On verra. Bah écoutez, merci d'avoir regardé cet épisode. N'oubliez pas de mettre un j'aime et de vous abonner si vous avez aimé pour continuer à suivre ces aventures. Et on se dit à une prochaine. Bye bye